All right, YouTube, what's going on? We're looking at a uh, another uh, 3V gear product today. This is their large medic pouch, and they provided uh, they provided this to me for this review, so I'm going to be objective, of course, but all my stuff that I've had from 3V gear has been really well made. So let's kind of just go over the uh, specs here. It is a clamshell opening. It has elastic loops for gauze rolls, tapes and medical supplies, large Velcro sleeve for bandages, 600 denier, PVC black nylon, reinforced molly points, Measures 8 inches by 3 inches by 6 inches and weighs 7.5 ounces. So this one's in Coyote. They have these in many different colors. So they provide this to me and they wanted me to actually make a kit out of it and then kind of do a video and show what was in this kit. Now, I'm going to do that, but I want to talk about the pouch a little bit because it's super well made. It, I've continued to be impressed by their products. They are made overseas, um, you know, so is Max Expedition, so... And they are, but they are really well, really well made. They're they're better than a lot of the other competitors on the market. There's so many pouches like this, and so many bags, and so many packs, and Amazon's just full of them. And they all look, kind of look similar and have similar designs, but they're not all created equal. So this is a really well made um, bag. It has really strong, durable um, nylon here. The 600 denier. It's got nice double stitching on everything. The zippers, I believe, I don't believe they're YKK zippers. But they have they have real paracord pulls, which is nice, and they work really well. Um, and they, this one has this front strap over here, and and here I've just got some uh, CPR or not CPR uh, first aid instructions that came with some of the kits, and I'll, I'll kind of show you how I built this kit together. But overall, just impressions of this kit. The Molly straps work really well. I had this Molly to a pack just now before I started this video, and they work really well. You got more. Um, you got this little nice mesh pouch in here instead of Molly on the front, which I kind of like because I have another pouch and I'll show you here in a similar that has Molly out here. And I'm like, you're not going to attach, most likely, I'm going to attach another pouch to this pouch and then put it on your bag. You know, this is kind of one of those pouches that you want on the outside of your bag, read, readily accessible because it's your med kit. Um, one thing I would like to see on this is, you know, kind of some constructive criticism is I'd like to see some uh, hook and loop right here. Maybe just eliminate this. I'm not sure what this is. I guess if you wanted to hold something in there, I'd hold it in there. but do some hook and look up here and so we can put one of those medic patches. I have one from one of my Condor um, pouches and I love that because you know, it looks like a medic. People know it's a first aid kit. If, if someone else had to use this, like for instance on me, they didn't know what it was, you know, that would help them identify. So that's one thing. So this is a pouch that's very similar. I think this is a Condor. Let's see who makes this one. Yeah, this is a Condor pouch. Very similar. Um, I will tell you right now though, the 3B gear is a higher quality. Um, just by feel, the, the nylon feels a lot stronger, feels more robust, this feels a little weaker. Um, the zipper pulls are much better on the um, three week gear, they're actual paracord. So that's the, you know kind of a comparison. Like I said, this one has the molly on the outside, which is, you know, what's the point of that really? The inside though is set up almost identical in these two. Um, and the molly's work well in this well. So this is, I mean, this is a good pouch. This is a very similar design. That's why I went with it, because I know it's going to work well. So let's go ahead and open it up. And we'll kind of talk about the insides, and then we'll talk about the contents of this kit. It's actually a pretty packed kit in this small, um, it's kind of a smaller med kit uh, pouch. So it's nice that you can actually fit all this stuff. So on the inside, you have your big, huge, uh, you have your big um, elastic here uh, for larger things. Then you have smaller ones here. You've got multiple rows. So each one of these is two rows of this elastic. Very similar to the Condor, like I said. And you've got basically four rows of that there. And then you have an, a, a pouch in here that actually Velcro shut. Mine's a little full, so it won't Velcro shut. But I've got a ton. I mean, I've got tons of gauze. And I'll, I'll pull out all the contents here in a second. We'll talk about that. But it fits a lot of things. And you have another two rows of this elastic here. I have some exam gloves there. So you have a lot of space. And then it, it's stretchy. It's got this elastic here, so it expands. So that's one, one of the nice things because this is I've got this pretty packed tight with this Israeli bandage in there, and it really um, it holds it just fine, and you know it's not busting the seams or anything. And a lot of that's because of this design, so that works really well. So let's kind of talk about the contents. And I'll, first, let me before I do that, let me tell you how I came out of this kit. So these guys sent me this, and then I I was actually asked by my mom. Um, they they just got a new UTV, and they wanted a. Uh, well, I suggested they. I'm like, hey, do you have a first aid kit for your UTV? Because we're going to be going down there on Memorial Day, and we're going to be riding it. And, you know, just something I thought of. We should, you should always have a first aid kit and something like that, because you might be out, you know, four wheeling somewhere, and something happens, and you're out in the middle of nowhere, and you may not have cell service. You know, you're going to want to have a medical kit. So she's like, yeah, we make. We, you know, tell me which one to buy. And I'm like, I can make one a lot better and cheaper than you can buy pre-made. 
So what I did do is I I think a lot of these pre-made kits, like Adventure Medical, for instance, they're pretty decent. They're a good starting point. They're not complete at all, but they do have good things in them. And this one was only $9.97 at Walmart, pretty cheap. And I took the contents of this, which is uh, whistle, compass, 10 uh, antiseptic wipes, 10, 12 bandages, two knuckle bandages, one extra large bandage, three butterflies, four gauze, uh, three by three, four gauze, two by two, one tape, half yard, half inch by 10 yards, one uh, elastic uh, bandage for like a sprain. Uh, there's actually more than one moleskin. It's weird that it says one moleskin. There's actually a couple, which is nice. You got splinters and tick removers, which is nice to have. And then you got some medications, triple antibiotic ointment, after bite sting, ibuprofen, antihistamine, and acetaminophen and aspirin. Pretty decent starter kit, right? Nine bucks. I thought I'll just take it, take the in contents of that. We're gonna put it in here. I added a few items that I think are pretty, pretty key, and one of those being probably one of the bigger ones. And you can actually buy this at Walmart. Is Celox. Celox is a wound um, to technology used in hospitals. It's a highly absorbent hemostatic gel. Uh, it forms a hemostatic gel plug in the wound, so it's an anti-coagulant. Hope I said that right. So basically you get a really bad cut, it's bleeding very bad, you're not able to stop it. You pour some of this powder in there, it's gonna stop it. Also available in like a actual gauze pad. Um, I would say that's more something you'd want a trauma kit, more of like if you, um, something for your range bag, you're gonna be shooting, maybe a knife wound. But you know, this is something you can buy at Walmart, it's a wound care kit. It comes with some of these Celox packets, has some gauze in here. It's a good little packet for like eight, I think it's eight bucks. Let me double check actually. Eight ninety seven, so nine bucks. Really good. Got to have some like this. Have to have. I mean, I would even say maybe upgrade to the gauze pad, but this will work pretty good. So I added that. I added some of this uh, stingies. Um, this is really good stuff. Maximum relief from bites and stings from bees wasps. These are going to run to in the, in the outdoors. Going to have that relief. And this is one of the biggest things we talked about. Is they live down in southern Utah. And there's snakes all over the place in the desert. And this is a snake bite kit by Sawyer. Uh, makes my I have a water filter from Sawyer. Really good product. Has an extractor. Um, it's only it's the only one proven to, according to them, uh, remove snake venom. And also has a kit for wasps and bees. So it actually comes with a few other things. We'll kind of show that. So I added that as well. And then I added some of this um, Alocane emergency burn gel. This stuff has four percent lidocaine, which is like I think. The highest on the market is five, so this is really good stuff. You can buy it at Walmart for like seven bucks. And if you're going to be around a four wheeler, uh, in this case a UTV, and you know it's a hot engine, and there's people get burned on those things all the time, motorcycles and such. You want to have burn gel? That's going to be huge. This stuff not only takes away the pain, actually it makes it heal faster, which is nice. So that's I've added that. You can see I've got a tube of that, which you know you can actually. I bought this at Walmart for like seven bucks. I thought oh, it's kind of a big tube, but it'll be nice to have. And you can buy it in smaller. Uh, uh, quantities on Amazon. I took the medications thing from the Sawyer kit, or not the Sawyer kit, the uh, Adventure Medical, and this is you know medications going on over such. It's already in a pre-sealed thing. Here's your bite and sting kit, and I've got um, the Sea Locks in here also. So I've kind of kept it waterproof, um, you know, in, in this in this pack. And this is kind of your major injury. You got your Sea Locks, you got your your snake kit. You got your different suctions, and then you have some instructions as well as a razor to shave, um, you know, the hair that may be where the, the bite is. So you can make sure you get that venom out well. It's just kind of cool. So it's got all that in that little kit. These are about 15 bucks. They're not cheap, uh, but they're I think a really good thing to have, and they sell them right at your local Walmart in the um, not in the medical section, but in the uh, outdoor section, like the camping and such. So I have these things in here, and this, and these big elastics, and there's more space here. You can pack more. I just pack all this stuff right here, uh, just for convenience, easy use. Uh, on this side, I've got the uh, some some uh, exam gloves here and a Ziploc baggie to keep them fresh and sterile. I've got a uh, and I've left this in the packaging, a bandage here that's so that stays sterile. And you have some tape, the the sting aid, uh, the stingies, and you have some tweezers here. You could upgrade those tweezers something better. It's just something that you should have in a kit, I think. Then here I've got tons of gauze. I mean, just tons of it. Got a bunch of different size gauze, um, tons of bandages. Got some antiseptic wipes, quite a few of those to clean up a wound. And then in this, uh, I put these in a, a pack here with some bandages. They're moleskin for your blisters. 
just different sizes of band-aids so you've got all kinds of options so this is a smaller kit but i think it's it, it can handle most injuries um even with that with that sea lock anticoagulant and this israeli bandage these are awesome it's a trauma wound bandage um these are proven they're eight bucks on amazon it fits in here and i think with this and that um and oops put that back in I, like I said, I may upgrade to a um, have them get a Sealux pad as well. You could fit in here pretty easy. Then you have a full trauma kit. Um, you've got your Israeli bandage, you've got your Sealux trauma kit, and you're good to go. So all this does fit. Looks like a lot for this small pouch, but this pouch actually holds a lot of stuff, guys. So these pouches make great um, IFAX, you know, individual first aid kits. Um, this is kind of meant to be used for multiple people. It's going to stay with their UTV in their little storage compartment that it has. So it's always there. It's always, um, you know, available if they need it. They're not going to, oh, I'll just grab the one out of my car and use that and then leave it in the UTV and not have first aid kit in your car. I highly recommend you have one anywhere you're going to need it. Like if it's in your vehicle, your home, you, you know, multiple vehicles, uh, if you have an ATV like that, you know, a pack, you know, just uh, like a day pack, you're going to take hiking a lot. Your shooting range bag, which is good about this, is it has molly attachments. So you can add this to a lot of packs. Um, I have I use the 3B Gear uh, range rifle bag. They're a large rifle bag. I reviewed that on the channel a lot, quite a bit ago. And this will fit right on the front of that. So I, you know, I could put a, a trauma kit in here um, for like a gunshot wound. You know, like I said, with the sea locks and maybe do a tourniquet and the uh, Israeli bandage as well. And I put that right on my gun bag, so it's always there with me, or I can put it on my pistol shooting range bag. So I just, these pouches are great. They're inexpensive. Um, they're, I believe they're, man, I always do this. <laughs> I don't think this little tag here had a price on it, does it? It didn't. I want to say they're around 10 bucks on their website. I will put a link in the description below for sure where you can buy this on their website. Um, I do believe they also sell this stuff on Amazon, so... Just a really high quality made pouch. Um, I've had some Expedition, some Condors, some other brands, um, and I would say it's up there in quality with with Maxpedition. Um, it's really heavy duty nylon. Like I said, it's higher quality than this Condor here, and it's a very similar design. So for the money, it's really hard to beat. So um, I like supporting these guys. They're a local company to me. They're here in Utah, and I you know love reviewing their gear. I think their gear is great. They're their Velox 2 is like my favorite pack. Um, I'm also going to be reviewing soon a hydration pack for the, that they have. So I'm really excited. So I, I want to thank them again for providing this gear. Um, oh, this is coming out. But this is this stuff came with the Adventure Medical Kit, or most of it. Some of it might have come... Yeah, I think all this information came with American with the Adventure Medical Kit, which is really nice. Having instructions, like what if you didn't know you know, how to take care of a, a blister or a wound care, or you know how to use that c -Lox. There's instructions in there as well. There's first aid instructions. These can be life-saving. You, you may not be first aid first aid certified, or you may be in a situation where, you know, so you're under high stress and you don't remember your training, or like me, I was uh, certified for a long time, and then I kind of let it lapse, and I need to redo it. And, you know, these are kind of just, oh, that's right, you know, like just reminders. So I, I would recommend keeping these in the kit. It's a little stuffed right now, so I'm going to have to stuff them in there. Maybe putting them in some plastic so they stay dry. Um, really, you know, really good idea to have something like that. Some sort of first aid instruction. So I've done a few first aid kit videos. This one, like I said, is going in the UTV. It's going to be for the four-wheeler. Oh, man, I just rocked the camera. I apologize about that. Uh, it's compact. It'll easily fit in there. And it'll, I think it'll handle most things that we may come across um, when we're out four-wheeling. So there's all, but the thing about these videos and about doing these kits is there's something you always forget. So if you think of something that would fit in here, you know that I that I might need in that situation. Um, let me know. First aid is very situational. I think it's you know you're gonna pack a kit differently for this is like an outdoor. I'm out four wheeling or I'm out camping, hiking type kit versus a oh I'm in the vehicle kit or in my house kit. You know those first aid kits are all gonna be a little different in their contents. So thanks for watching, guys. Again, I highly recommend the three week gear uh, large medic pouch. It's Molly compatible. It'll pack onto your pack. Um, again, I, I would recommend um, or give some constructive criticism maybe in a future model is to have some hook and loop so you could put a medic pouch on there. So you have some way of identifying this as a medic pouch. Um, I think that would be a really, really good addition to this. Other than that, it's really great. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.